What's up guys, welcome to level 8 from Sketch series. Now we have already learned how to add migrations, seeding database and display the post in HTML table. So in this video we are going to do three things. Number one, sort the post by its sending order. So we'll see the latest post first. Number two, we'll add here a button which will lead us to the create post form. Number three, we'll add a link to each post so we can edit the post. And I'm hoping at the end of this video you will be able to add forms in Laravel, validate user input and save the data into database. So this project is hosted on my github account you can actually go ahead and clone it and play around with it and i have added all the instruction in the github readme so yeah without further ado let's get right into it okay so the first thing is we will be sorting these ids by descending order so to do that i will just use the order by class so we'll add the order by class here uh, we just need to add this. So what this is doing is it is uh, just telling uh, the Laravel that we need the post order by ID descending and that's all we need to do. Go ahead and refresh this page. Okay, cool. So we got our post by descending order. So the next thing is we're going to do, we will add an add post button here. So let's go ahead and add this. Okay, so we have added the button here. Uh, so I'm using the bootstrap icons, uh, I'm using the plus sign and let's go ahead and refresh it and see like what it shows. So this is really cool. Uh, so to get the bootstrap icon, you can go here and get. So here you can search for any icon that you want to add, uh, for example, add pencil and anything you have want to add. Uh, so yeah, I'm using that. Let's okay. And the second thing I wanted to show you uh, where I get this poster create and so if like we are using the resource controller so if you run this command php adds in route list it will list all the route of the application so we here we have a post.create route this is the route name that we are going to use and this is the uri that it will produce and this is the uh, method that the uh, http method that we're going to use so this correspond to this control post control create so if you don't if you find any trouble like remember it around you can actually come here and uh, especially for the resource controller so uh, maybe in uh, like once or twice you have to see this and then you will get familiar with it and you don't have to worry about it so the post create method is this and if we want to store the post so we will be using this method post controller at store method so yeah that's all for this so instead of this we will just do it from y and let's go ahead and click on it and see how it works okay if we click on it we see a blank page because there is no template now uh, let's go ahead and add the template here so this is the form uh, method that we're going to use uh, so i have already ad added the html for this guy so let's go ahead and try to understand what is this html doing this is first of all this is the form uh, that we're using so action is post at store that we actually saw in the route list so this is the method that we want to call when we want to store this post and um, we're, we're using it as it it only supports http post so we are using the post manager the crf token csrf token this is on, uh, for security purposes you don't have to rebound it just write it down uh, follow along and the later video i will discuss in more detail about this okay and then the post we have title um we're using this title field the name is title and then we're using the content uh, content field this is a text area and name is content then we have a checkbox here and uh, this is the checkbox input type checkbox and then there is label that if this is active or not uh, the next thing is this here is uh, our add post button like this is the button i'm saving once we click on it this form will be submitted and here we use the session messages partial that we created in previous video so to display the error message validation error message and success error message so let's go ahead and now implement the store method here let's first dump this request uh, to see what we see here let's go ahead and fill this form and then let's click on this and this is the form we'll get let's add some title okay let's submit this form okay as we can see like we get all our all the input here so let's go ahead and save this input into the model so to do this we'll create a new instance of our post class and then we'll try to fill this so uh, the fill method is fill method will take all the attribute that are in the request and try to fill the model with these attributes uh, but to, we have to tell this post model that these are the attributes that are fillable so it will uh, take only these uh, only those attributes from the request let's go ahead and add this fillable here 
so we want title to be fillable we want this content to be fillable and we want is active to be fillable okay and lastly and that's that's all we need to do and then we will add the user id with the post that okay this post belong to this user and then we'll save the model okay and after saving the model let's go ahead and dump this model to see like model is saved or not go ahead and refresh it okay cool so we get the model object let's me actually uh zoom in, in a little bit okay so now we can see the post like table is post this is the post model uh, that is saved so connection is my sql and primary key is int and here is the fillable that we just uh, added here and also we can see the attributes being saved so these are the attrib two attributes that actually automatically being populated by laravel uh, so this is very good to have um, you don't have to worry about it and yeah that's it user id is one so this post belongs to user id one and uh, yeah that's it and uh, let's go ahead and add the redirect after we add the post so we'll redirect the user to uh, post index route and we also want to show a success message so we'll do success post added successfully okay and let's go ahead and refresh it again okay cool so we cannot see the post success message here let's go ahead and add these partials here as well so we can see the message here so if we come here we can actually add or we can add here so in the session message we have already added uh, these guys so we'll get we're getting the success message from the session and we're just displaying in the alert box and that's it let's go ahead and add another post again okay cool uh, so we can see the success message here now and the next thing that we need to do let's go ahead and um, add some validation to it because right now if we click on the add post so this application is caching because there is no validation here and uh, let's go ahead and add the validation here so the first method of adding the validation is uh, we can use the request to validate so here we can put all the attributes that we want to validate so title required and it should be max 1 255 maybe and then we have content so the content should content is also required and uh, yeah it should be maximum 5000 characters and then is active not required it's nullable and should be boolean can be nullable so nullable mean like it's not required and it's value can mean uh, nullable and if it's not then it should be boolean and yeah that's all and uh, let's go ahead and add this again okay now we can see like we get nice error messages here so this is the uh, benefit of validation that uh, you will filter all the user input and it's uh, it's a must have habit you always need to filter your user inputs and uh, yeah that's all with the validation and this is the first time method of the validation the second method of the validation is to create a form request uh, for simple validation we can use the requested validate method but to me personally it seems a bit messy so i prefer keeping validation logic separate from controller uh, so to do that we will just use a helper from artisan php artisan make request and we'll call it add post request okay so post request already exists uh, let's go ahead and use that so it seems i already added the post request for my practice session okay uh so in the post request we there is nothing different we can actually just copy these guys we can remove this and we can put it here okay and uh, here there are two methods here one is authorize and the second rules to understand the authorized method you can put the authorization logic here for example especially in case of uh, edit post uh, but we want all the users to be able to add the post so we will return true so and anyone uh, every user of uh, this application is authorized to add the post okay and uh, yeah that's all and uh, we have uh, 
so here it automatically at the moment whenever uh, the stored message is being called so lara will create an art post instance and it will try to validate the request and then it will call this method so let's go ahead and see connection okay so now now we're using a form validation let's go ahead and click on add post so we we'll get the these message again uh, but now our code is much cleaner we our validation logic is decoupled to another form request uh, so yeah that's all for this add post UI uh, let's go ahead and create the edit link here so for the edit we will be using uh, post dot edit me edit method and post dot update method so post edit, edit method we will use to show the edit UI and post dot update, met update method we will use to update the actual post in the database so let's go ahead and add these things so we'll go again in the post index page and here in the title we'll add the link okay to understand this uh, so in in the edit method so we have one parameter here so when whatever is in the parentheses it's a parameter for the route so we'll be passing a post uh, parameter in the round which will be the post id here for us and that's all we need to do let's go ahead and uh, refresh this and see okay cool so now these i have become linked so let's go ahead and click on it but we'll see the blank way because we did not add the template here let's go ahead and add the template here so i also have an edit post here so the id will be passed to this method so let's go ahead and dump the id here okay so we got the id so we'll get this model from the id so i will show you two methods first method is this uh, first and let's dump this model okay so we got the model but this query is not yet complete and because we also want to check uh, this post belong to this user or not uh, so we'll add another way clause where we'll add user id and then we'll check auth not id and uh, yeah let's go ahead and check it again so yeah now it's fine this is the one method the other method is like for the resource controller specifically uh, you can use the post uh, variable here and it will still work let's go ahead so if you type hint it and you okay so if you type in this so laravel automatically will understand it will resolve the um, id to post so it will actually query on the post uh, to find the model by id and then it will pass it along so if it is not able to find then it will throw a 404 error otherwise it will pass it let's go ahead and refresh it again if we refresh it again we'll get it and if the uh, if it is not able to find and 681 okay so we get a not found error because it's not able to find the post so yeah let's go ahead and let's go back and click another post so since all the posts are the same user so we get the post okay let's go ahead and pass this post here but we'll not be using this because we want also to query this by user id uh, but you got two ways to do this so yeah it's up to you now okay we'll pass this model here actually uh, there, this is much neater uh, because this way uh, you know like what you can change the uh, variable name there are two ways as well one way is this to pass the variables through this view like this the other way is to actually just use the compact and this is also equivalent to the same uh, the array method here uh, this is also equivalent to the same what i use here but you cannot show in the variable name here uh, so yeah that's it let's go ahead and edit this and check okay so this is our edit form uh, so here we're using post.update method here and this method is put because we can see here post.update we can use either put or patch here so we're using uh, but we're using post here because html only support get post uh, get and post so for the put we'll add another extra field here that is at method put uh, so we will tell the laravel that okay we're using the put method here and rest everything is same in, but in this case in the value we are passing model dot title content and also for the checkbox we're checking if it is active then uh, mark the checkbox is checked otherwise don't check it and yeah that's all let's go ahead and check this form now okay cool we got this nice ui here to edit the post and uh, let's go ahead and edit something okay. okay we can update the post but we didn't get anything because there is no code behind it 
let's go ahead and add the code in update so let me copy this guy here and we'll paste it here and uh, we'll get the model from here let's dump the model and also the request let's refresh this guy okay we got all the uh, data from the request and also we we are able to resolve the post so let's go ahead and try to update this so model dot update request order and that's all you, you need to do and here you can use the return redirect instead of redirect you can use the back if you want just use it to redirect uh, to the page where it came from so you can use back and we'll use the web success okay uh, let's go ahead and try to refresh it okay so post is edited successfully let's refresh this again so this is again uh, let's add to it and let's try to update it again okay cool post is updated again and we can see it here as well so the post is edited and uh, last thing we need to do we also need to actually add the updated page so i will use the update let me check what is the request name so it's added post request so we'll use the added post request okay and yeah now that's all we need to do so in the edit post request we again have this validation here and uh, title is required content is required maybe you know, it can make it to 5000 to keep it parity with keep its parity with the other uh, and yeah adjective is nullable but boolean and yeah that's all let's go ahead and update the post one more time okay cool uh, so yeah the posts are updated validation is working and let's go ahead and try just try to remove everything from here and let's see if it works okay cool so we got the validation error again. so yeah uh, that's pretty much it for this video so in this video we learned how to create a form and how to create the post and save the data to the database and how to edit a model and create an edge ui and add validation to it and yeah that's pretty much it and uh, i'll see you in the next video Stay tuned and bye bye chips. Mm -hmm.